हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइड सो लेट सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम न्यूटन रैपसन मेथड वी नीड टू सॉल्व द इक्वेशन लॉग एक्स इक्वल्स टू कॉस एक्स टू फाइव डेसिमल्स बाय न्यूटन रैपसन मेथड नाउ लेट मी टेल यू बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग कॉस सो मेक श्योर यू हैव फिक्सड योर कैलकुलेटर टू रेडियंस ओके फाइन ए लॉग बेस इज to be taken care of it's to the base okay until and unless they have mentioned it we'll make sure that this is to the base so first write your function your function is log x minus cos x i can write that let's find derivative because it will be required so log x derivative is 1 by x cos x derivative is negative sin x now let's uh, check where the root lies in what interval so if i check uh, for uh, starting with the uh, value 1 okay because log 0 is not defined So if I start with one, so log one is zero, and cos one I need to check. So negative of cos one. So minus zero point five four. So this is f of one is minus zero point five four. Zero three zero. F of two, if I check, so that will be log two. Minus cos two. Log we are using that. to the base e so ln in calculator so this is 1.10929 so root lies between 1 and 2 but to be more precise or to reduce the number of approximations let's uh, check for some value between 1 and 2 so if i check for f of 1.5 so that will be a uh, log 1.5 minus cos 1.5 that is again positive so that is 0.10535 one is negative 1.5 is positive okay fine uh can we look for some other values or let it be uh so x not which will be required uh for this uh choose uh because root lies between 1 and 1.5 so let's choose x not as somewhere in between so let's choose that at 1.3 fine that's completely it. uh your number of uh, approximation or iteration will differ just uh, on the fact that what exactly you are choosing as your x not okay so if you choose 1.2 it will come different choose 1.4 it will come different okay there is another way you can either choose the value in which the output is more closer to 0 look at f of 1 0.5 f of 1.5 0.1 okay so here f of 1.5 is closer to 0 okay just 0.1 unit so you can take this also as x not so what is the iterative formula for newton raphson method that is xn plus 1 equals to xn minus value of function at x n divided by value of derivative at x n 
this is the iterative formula let's check for the first iteration for that n equals to 0 so this will be x naught I'm not writing x naught here just putting the value of x naught value of function at 1.3 so that will be a uh, log and that log is ln so ln 1.3 minus pos 1.3 So that is uh, minus 5.1345 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So divide by 10 raised to power minus 3. So if I take that uh, 1, 4 will come. So negative of 10 power 7. So 0. Point 0, 0, 5, 1, 3, I can say uh, okay so negative negative positive 0 0.00513 divided by derivative uh, which is uh, 1 by x plus sin x so that will be 1 divided by 1.3 plus sine of 1.3 so that is coming out to be 1.73278 I am taking it in 5 decimal places so 1.3 uh, finally calculating it plus 0.00513 divided by 1.73278 so this is 1.30296 let's check for x2 so that will be 1.30296 that is the value of function here ln uh, 1.30296 minus cos of 1.30296 So this is uh, minus 6.92941 0. 0.000 Zero six with a negative sign. Zero followed by five zeros and a six. So minus minus plus. Derivative at uh, this point. So one divided by one point three zero two nine six. plus sine of 1.30296 so this is 1.73182 let's calculate this overall value I is taking time because I am using calculating all the values manually so one point although with the help of calculator but step by step so 1.30296 plus 0 0.00005 zeros and a 6 
182. So this is coming out to be 1.30296. Oh, exactly uh, till uh, uh, they have taken till five decimals, I guess, uh, and it is matching till five decimals. 1.30296. Okay, I haven't taken more than that, but because it's matching, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, in the problem, take care that if they are asking uh, till five decimal places, you take till six. Okay, so that you get a better uh, view that it is matching. But yes, because it's matching till uh, five, we are perfectly fine. So we can say that uh, x. 1 equals to x2 so the approximate root of log x equals to cos 6 is 1.30296 so so that's it uh, for today uh, as you can see uh, might have uh, the basics are all uh, again the same you write fx you find its derivative check in which interval the root lies the root lies in interval 1 to 2 further if you zoom in the root lies in interval 1 to 1.5 we take x naught either 1 1.5 or whichever is closer to 0 or any value in the middle so i took that as 1.3 fine so if you see x1 value came out to be 1.30296 your x2 value came out to be 1.30296 so as they are matching so the approximate root of log x equals to cos x is 1.30296 you can write here uh, up to 5 decimal places. Fine, I have solved more problems on this uh, which you can check in the playlist iterative techniques and interpolation. Thanks again.